talk about the identity and the social significance of the Tigers. I was scared of dentists on the dark I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations now Hull City was founded in 1904 and since then has come to be one of Yorkshire's most important clubs, which has contributed significantly to putting the city of Hull on the map. Following various financial problems throughout the 1990s, the team struggled through, eventually coming out on top in 2008 with a double promotion at their new stadium. Hull City are in the Premier League and that is... This captured the interest of the Allen family, who came to be the club's owners in 2010. City fans suddenly noticed that the team's name and crest had changed almost completely overnight a situation that created huge problems between the Tigers supporters and the Allen family. But now the club is facing yet another change in identity. The crest is being changed once again and the nickname City has returned with the same level of recognition that it had before. We went to the KCOM stadium to ask Tigers fans what they thought of all of this. Well, we're, st we're known as the Tigers, yeah. but we still wanted the name Hull City. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what we are, Hull City. Exactly. So I think everybody was quite pleased that it was going to go back again. That's Hull City. It's Hull, yes. Hull should be in the name. It's not just Tigers. It's, it's, uh, that's fine. That's all right for a broad. Like India and such as that, that will sell. But not over here. No. It's Hull City, Tigers. Hull City, all the way down the line. After having spoken to the fans and spending a fantastic day at the stadium, we hope to come back soon and see that everything's turned out well for the club and its supporters. All that's left to do is give us your opinion in the comments.